Once you have created a database and added some collections and files to it, it's very important to know how to back up those database because we don't want to lose data. And backing up is a very important part of maintaining a database. We also want to know how to restore our database from a backup if something happens, a database crashes or there's a, an attack to the database. And there are many ways to do this. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to backup and restore database. The first one is going to be the easiest. However, we also have to do things manually. In the second one, we'll use the database tools that comes with MongoDB. You already have those tools installed on your computer. We have actually used a couple of them previously, the Mongo import and Mongo export. Uh, we have similar other tools for backing up and restoring database. So that's going to be the second option. So let's start the first one. In the first process, we have to find out on our computer where exactly we have those files, the MongoDB database files, and then copy them manually. Now the copying part is trivial, but where exactly do we have those MongoDB files? To find that out, we need to take a look at the configuration file of MongoDB. You can find this configuration file details on the MongoDB official website. Just simply search on Google and it will be on this page. You can find for different operating systems and depending on how you installed MongoDB, the location of your configuration file is going to be different. So for Linux, Mac or Windows, whichever operating system you have, you can find the location this way. I am using a Mac operating system and I installed MongoDB using Brew and I have Apple Silicon, the newer MacBooks. So pay attention here. If you have an older MacBook, you'll have to use this location. For me, this is where my mongod.conf file is located. This configuration file is very important. You can modify this configuration file to change a lot of settings for MongoDB. Now I, I am copying this location. I'm going to go to my terminal and let's take a look at what we have within that conf file. And within the conf file, we have a parameter called dbpath. This is where I have my database of MongoDB database on my computer. This is opt home through var then MongoDB. I'm copying that location and then exit out. If you are using a different operating system, the location of your MongoD is going to be different. But still, when you look inside MongoD, you will also have your own DB path. So find that out. After you have your DB path, you can take a look at the files that you have within the directory. And this is what I have. So I'm looking inside this location and I see these are all those files of my existing collections. You can see these collection files have some diagnostic data, also MongoD log and storage.bson. So you're going to have a similar set of files. It is not recommended to start copying directly because if your MongoDB instance is running in the background, copying like this could result in some kind of loss in the database or data corruption. We need to stop any writes to the disk so that when we copy this, there should not be any errors or any corruption. And the command to do that is called fsync log. Let's see how to do this. We are inside MongoDB and write db fsync log. What this command is going to do is it will stop all writes to the database. So we can feel free to just copy the database wherever we want to. So we can exit out of MongoDB. Now we are outside MongoDB. We want to copy those files. So the copy command in on Mac and Linux is going to be cp. And then recursive copying. You need to specify the location. So I have the files here. So let me copy this location. 
and again you don't have to do it like this you can simply go to your my computer or file explorer and graphically just right click on the folder copy and then paste it somewhere else i'm doing it using command prompt but you don't have to and i could copy it right here in my current directory so i'm gonna create a backup and so i don't have a backup directory of course and that created a backup from that location these are all the files that i just copied for my backup after you are done with backing up we need to resume write operations so let's go to our mongodb and if sync unlock the problem with this one is if anything goes wrong in the database during the ba backup uh, like we were, had to actually copy and paste any non-written data is likely to be lost however in many use cases this is not really a big risk uh, maybe your database is not always updating another option to backup and restore the database is using the database tools so instead of manually backing up so let's exit out of mongodb so this is important we have to exit out of mongodb and let's clear the screen so instead of backing up manually you can use the mongodb tool called mongo dump and let's actually create a new directory for this say so backup to So we are within backup too and we don't have any files now we are going to write mongo dump so this command will create a dump of the existing mongodb files and save this to the directory and you can see i have created a new folder called dump here let's find it using the finder so backup to dump and you have all these database all the collections and they're organized this way which is very nice i could also go to first database and take a look at all the json files this is another way to uh, export your json files of course you could probably guess mongodump uh, it has other options if you wanted to see like what we could do with mongodump so all these different options you have for mongodump to back up your database the next one is to how to restore database the command to do that is mongo and then restore the next parameter is going to be the location where you have kept the dump so just put that location here you can type in help to see the syntax mongo restore and then the option here is the location so if i wanted to write say mongo restore and the dump location is gonna restore everything from that dump so that's all these are the two ways that you can backup and restore databases in mongodb thank you